Right, so we're going to be looking at the current range of head tennis rackets. We're going to be focusing on the gravity, radical, speed, extreme and the instinct. We're going to leave the prestige out of it because it's becoming less of a popular frame lately, mainly because all of the other lines that head offer are so versatile and easy to hit. So before we start, they all look amazing, don't they? Head have always been my favourite brand of racket. The black and yellow radical Andre Agassi used was my particular favourite. I'm pretty sure that I used to copy him with his elastic band as well. Right, first things first, when you're selecting a tennis racket, other than how it looks, there are a few key things to bear in mind that will dramatically affect how the racket feels in your hand. First of all, we've got beam size. So a thicker beam makes a frame structure stiffer. This enables the racket to send more energy back into the ball when it's hit, resulting in more power and less control. A thinner beam makes a frame more flexible. This allows the frame to absorb more energy, creating a more precise feel. Next, we've got the balance point. So the balance point determines where the majority of the racket's weight is positioned. Some frames will have the weight more towards the top of the frame. Some will have it more towards the grip. It's completely down to you where you prefer. Next, we're going to look at the weight of the racket. So the weight is simply how much your racket weighs when it's in your hand. Most rackets tend to go up to sort of a maximum of 330 grams and you're sort of looking at a minimum weight of maybe 275 grams, something like that. Next, we've got the head size. So the head size is the side of, size of the string area in either square centimetres or square inches. So most rackets are roughly the same size. They're round about somewhere between 97 square inches and 105 square inches. So what Head have really cleverly done is they've taken all of the complicated specification details and they've simplified the process of choosing which racket in the range is best for you. All models from all of the ranges Head offer sit somewhere on their CPI index. The index goes from 100 to 1000 100 being the least powerful of the frames, but the most control, and 1000 being the most powerful, but with the least amount of control. So the gravity, the different models in that range, they're going to range from 200 to 700 on the CPI index. The models in the radical range range from 200 to 800 in the CPI index. The models in the speed range from 300 to 800. The models in the extreme range from 500 to 800. And the models in the instinct range from 600 to 900.
Okay, so tried out all the rackets. Head is definitely my preferred brand of racket. And if I was going to buy a racket and I wanted more spin from the head range, I'd go for the Extreme. If I wanted to buy a racket and I wanted more power, I'd probably go the Instinct. And if I wanted to buy a racket with more control, I'd 100% go the Speed. Now the all-round best is the Speed as well. I feel like it provides great spin, great control and great power and it's weighted perfectly.